Well, greetings, Tim Timians. Uh, haven't been doing a lot here. Well, I've been doing a lot, but not a lot worth filming. Or maybe it is a lot worth filming, just not a lot I've been able to film. Uh, it's kind of rough to film when you're running around doing one thing after another. Mainly just house and barn and yard maintenance stuff. I'm sure most of you know how that is. But I did manage to hang that uh, antenna that I had mentioned. The, uh, oh, what the hell is it called? The uh, Antron 99 or the SolarCon, SoloCon, whatever, that's been renamed. The only thing is, is I put it outside and I didn't really have a good way to mount it. So there was an old mast that was in the ground still from a direct TV, one of those dish televisions. So I just was by myself, you know, trying to fight the 10 foot mast and then on top of that, the antenna. Um, and I just, well, I'll just shove it in there. So I put it in there and uh, I didn't really pay much attention to it. I came down and listened to the radio a couple of times. Of course, I can't get into the net down in the South Hills down there. Can't hear anybody. I can kind of make out some of the guys, but not enough to make any contacts. Uh, well, yesterday I was out there the day before looking around, and I just happened to notice that, that that section of the house where I put the antenna has a metal roof. Good and bad. In my idea, I'm thinking, well, could be good because it could act as a, almost as a ground plane if I had the antenna above the metal roof because the metal roof would be here and the antenna would, you know, this would be the metal roof and the antenna would be right above it. So theoretically, it could act as a ground plane. The only thing was is my antenna was only about here, about halfway. So I went out today in the snow and we had a little bit of snow here, nothing much, but and I um, put it the rest of the way up. Uh, I had a clamp on there and I was able to move it up so I'll probably need about five foot of mass to put in there to make it a little bit better. Uh, but anyhow, I was going to try and see how it works. Uh, it, it seems like I'm actually picking some stuff up on 10 meters and we'll take a listen because we don't have much else to do. I can show you here. Well, I just finished. I got some of the bench mounted again the way it kind of was almost just the exact opposite this this end here stuck out on that end but what I realized was if I put that at the end I can use that and the light can help clamp that down and hold it on there this, this back piece I do have a beam in the back that it bolts to but uh, so and then I think I have some aspirations for this table I think I'm gonna cut cut this on both sides right about there so make it eight foot long and it'll fit I may take that out and put that one in the garage bring this different table down here so there's the infamous 940 and today we're not taking it apart but uh, we'll give a listen on some stuff and see if we hear anything hang on a minute all right so the first thing I'll do is and Again, like I said, the, all, the, all this is is an Antron 99, uh, 27, 28, 10, 11 meter antenna. So first we'll drop down to, well, here's something. As soon as I go to tune him in a little bit, uh, he stops talking. Right, well, we're going to come back to that because...
can't hear it, but he's way down there on the news in the in the noise. Too far in there. Can't really hear them. Alright, well, anyhow. Definitely, uh, let me. Definitely, 10 meters is doing pretty good tonight. Let's just see what, what we got. We'll get on and hit the. Oh, well, that's CB. That seems to be crazy. the time W1AW so we're able to get them we'll go back up and see uh, This is the uh, 11 meter CB radio band. All the skip landers. Boy, I have to bring the Golden Eagle down here. So anyhow, as you see, uh, these bands are pretty, pretty lively. So CB is not dead, <coughs> that's for sure. Those bands, uh, it's certainly not the same CB that I grew up with. You know, I grew up in the CB craze era back in the 70s when uh, there was everybody you know, had, had to have a CB and everybody had their handle so it wasn't too much in the, in the way of, of skip but it did come in on occasion nobody really understood it knew what it was you know they were all there was an overabundance of people in your area basically just noise because there was just so many people talking most of the time you couldn't find a clear spot to talk, but uh, it was it was kind of amazing for about a year or so how crazy it was with CB radio. Let's try what we can see back down at 28. So 10 meters. 28, that's upper sideband, that's just the norm, everybody, you can use either upper or lower, but everybody uses upper, it's just kind of an agreement. Uh, you can get more power and a more effective signal than using AM. It's, this guy's been calling CQ for a while. 
Come on, buddy, talk again. Should have taken his advice. Move somewhere warm. So, anyhow, moving, putting an antenna up, up here has proven to be quite an obstacle because. The basement that we're in right now is exposed to the front of the house. It's a full basement. This is the front. But I wanted to put the antennas in the back. Well, the basement only goes under three quarters of the house. So there's rooms built and there's no basement. There's a beacon. So anyhow, there's n there's no basement, and uh, it's a little bit tough to get the coax into here without bringing it around to the front to kind of find a way to get, to get under the addition and into the basement. Uh, so that'll be that'll be something fun. We'll see how that goes, but. Uh, Anyhow, that was just kind of a little bit, little bit of an update on the antenna, and if I get it, uh, if I get a chance, I can get you out there and show you what I was referring to with the metal roof. But uh, be kind of curious to see if if uh, it works any better tomorrow. I'll listen to the Monday Night Net, and maybe I'll be able to hear them a little bit better. That will be interesting. All right, so there's the illustration of the tower. Tower of the antenna, and as you can see, it starts I should probably get up a little bit higher. But I didn't realize that that was a metal roof until after uh, I put it up. So we'll see what happens and see if things change. And you can see right there that was the support that was left over from the microwave dish or the next TV or whatever the heck it's called. I'll think of the name of it. The Direct TV. There we go. That's the uh, the dish that I took off. And I don't even know how the heck you get it back to return it to these people. So, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll keep you updated. You can see them starting to get things set up. Like, got the soldering station out over here, but haven't had much. Uh, I think I soldered one or two things haven't done much at all uh, just trying to still unpack here and get things set back up and spend most of my days you know the days are so short now with uh, with winter time that uh, it seems like I spend most of my days changing light bulbs but pretty soon I'll have them all I'll have them all uh, what do you call it um, LEDs and that should be that should be more efficient and help out a little bit. So all right, well thanks for watching and take care and I'll keep you posted and hopefully we can get back to building stuff or experiment or doing something even in the garage or on the workbench here. See ya. an Oliver production.